A lot of people pick up your telephone, hit up your Facebook, and Twitter your Yahoo. It's time for another attack line! Starring me, the Zack Attack, the ultimate hotline for all your entertainment and pop culture news. Alright. Let's start with kind of a food related incident. Well, you'll get it when I say it. I like food. I am picky. I'm a picky guy because my Asperger's syndrome, so I'm a picky guy. I like figure food. Chicken, hot dogs, fries. There's only one food I hate, but there's an artist named after this certain food that I like. The artist named this. I hate the food meatloaf. But I say meatloaf. I like the artist named Meatloaf. And that's what we're starting with today. A little side of Meatloaf collapsing. Meatloaf collapsed on stage at a concert last night. Just when he's about to finish doing I'll do anything for love, but, he, but I won't do that. He'll do anything to entertain people. But he won't do that. That meaning fainting on stage. But he continued and finished the show. And there's been times where he's said, oh, I'm done, and he leaves and cuts the show. He fainted, and he still finishes the show. Because he did this once in London. He said, I'm tired in the middle of the show. And then instead of taking a break, then coming back, he just canceled the whole show. So that's kind of cool. He's going to be all right. He's supposed to be coming to Detroit next week. Next Friday? Yeah, next Friday, I think, at DTE. That's all I know. It's been a lot of Gaga news lately this week. A lot of Gaga this week. I mentioned Gaga's got the new single, which he confirmed. You and I, in the new video coming soon. She's got a photo book coming in November. And she was on Jimmy Kimmel last night. Performing the new single, You and I, and also performing The Edge of Glory. Gaga addressed the new single. She talked about her cooking skills, her lack of bowling skills, and of course, her Emmy nominations for the Lady Gaga Presents the Monster Ball Tour. Which will, of course, it's nominated for five awards at the Emmys. So, go Gaga! Go Emmys! Go Gaga! At the Emmys. So that's going to be very cool to watch. See if Gaga wins anything at the Emmys. She's playing a tour. No word on what, when she'll start. I'm here in December, but we don't know yet. But the Born This Way Ball better be as good as the Monster Ball, is all I got to say. Speaking of tours, I'm hearing a lot of people announcing tours, including. Evan Essence. They're going on a tour this fall, but no U.S. dates yet. They're saying U.S. in November. They're saying Europe, October. That's the dates we're very October for Europe thus far. Commercials. A lot of commercials. And there's some commercials that are original and unique. Some commercials with all the original and unique. Well, that's what happened with Artie and Chrysler. As all of us know, especially all of us in Detroit know, there was a commercial that premiered at the Super Bowl imported from Detroit by Chrysler. Of course, featured people driving down the streets of Detroit with Eminem's Lose Yourself playing and Eminem appears at the end of the video. That was a Super Bowl version. They had a regular version that didn't have Eminem in that version of the commercial. But Artie... Another auto dealership, they copied that video. They completely whipped it off. They did like the same concept with people driving around a city and kind of a copycat version of Lose Yourself Plane. Well, they didn't like that. So his publishing company, Aunt Meyer Publishing, sued Artie. They didn't say Chrysler. They were suing Artie because they copied the song. Well, it was settled out of court. No specifics, but I'm hearing that Artie will be donating to Detroit charities to make up for it. Only I think released a statement saying that they support Detroit and was sorry this happened. Now he says all right now. The public are like it when the commercial didn't even air in America. Maybe that's why they don't air in America, because they knew if they had it in America, they knew it would get sued. But they had it. Don't you learn about the internet guys? Someone's gonna record it and then post it on the website. You know it. You know they're going to do that. And at least Audi and Eminem settled on things and everything's done with them. 
there's a lot of wrestling stuff. I'm a big wrestling fan, and all of us wrestling fans like to read certain wrestling magazines, specifically the Re Magazine. But there's other publications, like independent publications, that do very well and are respected by us wrestling fans. There's one in particular that's named Pro Wrestling Illustrated, the PWI. There, there. So hold on one second, people. Anyway, PWI had the top two, top 500 wrestlers. And they all they count independents and both major companies. Well, let's say in the main, at number one on the PWI 500 is simply ah, the bitch. I mean, the Miz is number one on the PWI's top 500. My thoughts on that. He's grown as a wrestler and a character in the last, within like the last year. You know, he started out as a gut, gutsy, klutzy guy, geeky guy when he first came in and hosting this SmackDown Diva such back in 2006. And then, of course, he teamed up with Morrison and his character started to grow. And then when he got drafted to Raw in a draft lottery in 2000. Nine. That's when the Miz became the Miz. His personality started the show, and he's probably, in my opinion, one of the most hated wrestlers on the WWE today, or at least he was. The best tie for Miz was last year. He had the U.S. Championship, and of course, he won Money in the Bank. He became WWE Champion by the end of last year, and he beat John Cena at WrestleMania. With a little help from the rock. Oh, Miss Warren, with a little help from the rock. Anyway, that's what happened with that situation. Miz, like I said, he's grown as a wrestler. He's probably one of the most hated villains today. Probably, maybe not as hated as CM Punk, but probably as hated. And his kept has gone down ever since he lost the title, you know, through AY and all that. His little knee thing. Losing to Way Mysterio this past Monday didn't help either. So hopefully Miz can come back strong and come back to contention of being awesome. As he was. But him being number one PW is a huge achievement. It's a big fuck you to all the people who thought, oh, he's just a guy from the Wheel War. He's not going to make it in the world of wrestling. You thought the Wheel War was the Wheel War? This is the Wheel War, motherfucker. Basically. So Miz proved them all wrong that the PWI liked him enough to be Number one, he, he kind of deserves it because he he had to go through all the BS from people criticizing him. He he fought through it. He's not the best wrestler in the world, but he's good enough to be a good villain. His catchphrases, his personality, he's like some people say he's the next Roddy Piper. The only thing he needs now is a new talk show. But I'm bummed, like the Rock Piper's pit. Miz TV, that's been done probably. But congrats to Miz, proving he is indeed awesome. Anyway, next topic. Metal. I like metal too. Not death metal, like heavy metal. I like the priest, I like the Ozzy, the Sabbath, the DC, and a tiny bit of the stuff. The stuff's been on the road for the last 11 or so years. They've been down with a the sickness. They warmed through Atlanta confusion. And they found many other ways to die. And well, the way to die may not happen yet, but at least the death may be hinted with an indefinite hiatus announced. Now, certain bands have announced definite hiatuses. Fans always fear. Every time a band announces they'll go out in a definite hiatus, they always feel the worst. A breakup. Blink, that kind of happened, but Blink's back. Fall Out Boy, they announced a definite hiatus. They're not back yet. Who knows if they're ever going to come back. So it's still the same thing. You know, they're saying they're on a definite hiatus following this Rockstar Uproar tour, which is heading to DTE next week as well here in Detroit. 
and they don't know what they're doing yet. Do we know there's the new disturbed albums of making a new disturbed live record, live album, DD recording every show on this tour. But when it comes to making new stuff, it may not happen for a long time. At least what they're saying. So we'll see if they ever come back at all. And Devin Hayes has always stressed the fans out every time. My birthday is coming up. The August 9th. And I like to buy myself things. And I don't have that much money. You know, buy like DVDs and CDs. Imagine if my birthday was coming up and I had about $55 million, right? If I was $55 million rich and it was my birthday, what do I buy myself? I do what Soldier Boy did. Buy himself a private jet for his birthday. Can you believe it? Soldier Boy Talon bought his own private jet for 55 mil for his birthday, his own personal birthday gift. Now that's what I like to call pretty boy swag. Pretty boy swag. Pretty boy swag. That's how he turns his swag on, if you know what I mean. Swag. Anyway. <laughs> Happy birthday, anyway, Soldier Boy. I think it's James Arnold's birthday to do. Birthday too. Happy birthday to him as well. And as you know, I'm a dance jock. And I play a lot of songs. And I play songs that are popular with the kids, like the lazy song. But then I play songs from the older people. From people parents like, that not only the parents like, but the kids like. Especially if this certain song been on TV, on video games, on game shows, on Red Wings games. I am talking about, probably my opinion, the most popular songs on my repertoire. Of all time, I'm counting new and old. Don't stop believing by journey. Every time I play that song, the tr the crowd goes nuts every time. Especially if I play a live version of a big screen. Boom. Well, they they were on the Today Show and they were declared the num the they were honored by a sound scan as Don't Stop Believing is declared the number one best selling digital song of the 21st century. Makes kind of sense because the song's been on Glee. It's been on Sopranos, it's been on game shows, it's been on everything. And I, been on certain shows, so I can tell, it's, and it's been popular about the years, like the last few years been on certain things, and it's helping its sales on iTunes, so that's kind of cool. And that song is an awesome song. It's probably one of the best songs of all time. My, my, it's awesome. It's epic. And that's what I like to call winning. Anyway. Does Charlie have a star in the Hall of Hollywood Walk of Fame? I think he I think he does actually. I think Charlie does have a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well I'm saying that because there's gonna be somebody new on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's a group named the Go Go's. Fans of the Go Go's have been rallying for years to get them a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and they declared that the Go Go's, yes, they announced today that the Go Go's will Get their long awaited, long rallied form star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. I think it's like in late August. I think it's like in late August. Anyway, along with that, let's keep going. And congrats to the Go Go's. By the way, after two years. Lots of countries in a canceled U.S. leg that became postponed to move to this year. U2 finally ends their U2 360 tour tomorrow by being the biggest selling, biggest grossing tour of all time. $730 million. Over 7 million people have seen this U2 tour from Lansing, Michigan to London, England. They beat the Stones, Bigger Bang towards the biggest tour of all time. Congrats to you too. It is a big tour. Not only big in money, but big in staging and everything. So, with that in mind, thank you for another attack line here. Have a great weekend. Going to see NXS tomorrow. So, with that in mind, just been attacked by the news from Zach. Thank you very much.